now what I'm going to do is mute this and we're going to finally have some fun and um, we're going to add another reverb track. So this is, uh, we'll call this uh, Shimmer Reverb. We might not actually use the Shimmer effect, but what I'm going to load up is Valhalla uh, Shimmer here. These are the demos of those plugins. I don't, I don't actually own the full versions. And what we'll do is we'll route Omnisphere D to the Shimmer Reverb. And we can hear what we're doing and we can really hear uh, what's going on here. So, and um, for now, I'll just cut the master send here. So you can hear this reverb is just fucking giant, right? It's just crazy how big it is. Um, so there's a bunch of different um, uh, things we can use. And uh, I really do like the black hole preset as a start. Uh, the reverb mode, we can move this around a little. Play through these. This has a totally bizarre sound. So what's interesting about this plugin is it's basically like if you turn the diffusion and feedback all the way off, and pitch mode is off, what it will do is it'll pitch shift grains up or down. You can hear that it's like almost like a weird delay. Right, so we have a delay and then as I increase the diffusion, it like spreads that. But it's like not exactly a reverb yet and then once you keep going it gets like really spread out and then if you add some feet like it's already pretty big but you can hear how like odd that is how like um much it sounds like a delay but as you add feedback it like really turns into something so as you approach like up here go big stereo right in the size you can mess with that it's weird but what you really want is some pretty good mod modulation in this and we'll turn the color mode to bright and we can get this smaller if we want which just shortens the grains Actually, since we can boost this up a little. Around 900. If you go above that, weird things happen too. It's strange. It's just a really bizarre plugin. So, anyways, I'm going to load up the default. And what we'll do is just sort of. Uh, all I'm going to do is add a little bit of feedback, I think. And tighten the size a little. You can hear how it sounds when you <laughs> pitch shift everything. I'm using the size to actually just kind of control the bigness of it, because by adding feedback, it, it's gotten too big. But this thing just, it's like weird. It sounds really metallic and odd until it sounds beautiful. We'll add a little bit more modulation and slow it down a little. It's just this like giant thing. So like I said, I like some things to be huge and then some things to be tight. So let's uh, turn the master send back on and then bring this all the way down. So now we're just listening to the synth again, no reverb. And uh, let's turn the drums and bass on. We don't need that. So we can make a decision based on how it sounds in the mix. All right, well, for one thing, before I even do that, let's EQ it a little bit, because I actually still think it needs a little bit more something. So I'll make this kind of big so you guys can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to turn this high shelf into a more flat shelf instead of a flowy one, but a more flat. And we're gonna get some frequencies and we're gonna force them up in the mix. So 
is really honky if I go all the way down there. these frequencies right in here so what I'm gonna do is I think it needs to have a flat shelf where it's a pretty dramatic boost like that just to get the high end above but what I'll do is I'll cut out around these frequencies with another band so this band would just be doing that there but because there's a boost it's gonna kind of look a little odd but actually I think I need less of a boost so let's actually bring this back and just get this boost a little bit better in control what I'm just trying to do is give it a little bit of brightness to help it compete in this mix because we have a lot of bright elements actually sounds pretty good and we'll just pull out a little here I think that sounds pretty good. Well, it sounds like almost resonancy down there, and then when adds a little bit. And then what I want to do is I'll take another high band and we'll set this up to about 10k, sort of the magic frequency for air. And you can hear this isn't even doing much. The sample probably doesn't contain almost any information up there, anyways. But it might be helping, it's hard to say. And now what we can do, now that we know what it should sound like, let's pull it down a little. I want to keep it as something of a background element. We'll add a little of the reverb in. I like it around there. Now let's see what it sounds like without the drums and bass real quick. I'm just curious. Maybe we can get the, make it a little smaller. Oh, I think I like that. All right, so then. Whoa, fuck. <laughs> now let's listen to this. I love that. It's just got a really great sort of sound. 